Hello and welcome to the second episode of our Platinum Wheel. Last time out we platinumed God of War 2018 and it was a great experience. So today we're going to get into our second spin. Let's get it. Alright man, another day, another spin on this wheel. Thank you again for all the suggestions and the support in the last one. Let's see if we can get nice again or if we're going to get absolutely brutalised. So we are playing Detroit. Okay. Detroit Become Human is a game developed by Quantic Dream, the creators of Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. So I'm expecting a very strong story heavy game today. The easiest way to tackle this platinum is to do one pacifist playthrough, then one violent playthrough, and then use chapter select to go back for anything you miss. However, do go through chapter select for what you can before starting a second playthrough as your new decisions can make some of the trophies or collectibles impossible to gather. Now there's one other trophy, the bookworm trophy, that you should look out for. You need to collect every single magazine, some of which can only be obtained through specific decisions early on, and collecting these magazines also requires a minimum of two playthroughs. So collect any magazine you see as you go along. You can track which you do or don't have in the extras section of the main menu. So with all that out of the way, Let's get started with our first playthrough which will be my good run. Our journey begins with Connor, an android, sent to defuse a hostile android who is holding the child of his former owners hostage. We see early on the discrimination on the androids and it's clear to see who is in charge here. We try to talk him down and this happens. We saved it though. And mission accomplished. Connor saved Emma. Oh. And we played the first chapter. So that's two in one. We always like two trophies in one. We're then introduced to our second playable character. My name is Kara. But more on her later. Before we're introduced to our third and final character and our first magazine of the game. Okay, so. Let me help. I'm not going to show you every single one because that would just be pointless. But this is our first magazine of the game. Pick this up and read this. This next chapter we switch to Kara. This happens a lot throughout, where each chapter will change the playable character and the story perspective. Kara is owned by a drunk called Todd. Todd is an arsehole, so don't be like Todd. We take care of the household chores and choose the correct dialogue options to get Alice to give us the key to our secret box. Afterwards we go downstairs and this happens leading to our next trophy. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! Fucking psycho, man. And we got the secrets trophy for discovering Alice's contents. Which you can miss that one as well. Which is basically the case for a lot of them. Yeah, he's Todd's mean, bro. We're back as Connor now. We've been partnered up with Hank a detective with a distrust for androids. We go to this crime scene and find a body that's been rotting there for weeks. Connor is able to track down the culprit using his android abilities, but at what cost? I was just defending myself. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Um. Oh, shit. Didn't expect him to fucking straight snitch though. Deviant located. Connor found the deviant in the attic. Back as Kara, we break our programming and rescue Alice from Todd, earning us another trophy. You're not gonna catch me, Todd. We are free. Kara and Alice escape Todd's house. Good stuff. Finally, a chapter for Marcus with some significance. Marcus returns home with Carl to find Leo, Carl's son, who has broken into his house to steal paintings to sell for money. We break our programming and endure Leo's assault, but it doesn't have a happy ending. The android. Who's the android? Of course, I blame Marcus. Self control trophy. Marcus let Leo win. I didn't feel good about it, but we're on the pacifist run, so it is what it is. Back to Connor, and we extract a confession from the android that we caught earlier. Deviants, as they are called, can explode when they reach certain stress levels. 
and this guy makes it his job not to help us. I warned you, motherfucker! That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Ooh. Let's go, Hank. Impressive. And we got a trophy for that too. Confession. Make the android confess. After a chapter with Kara and Marcus, we're back as Connor, and we need to find out each clue about Hank, and this unlocks us another trophy. Now your partner. Connor found all of the clues about Hank. Back to Kara, and after our escape from Todd, we slept in a car, and then we had to dodge the police to arrive at our next destination. Are we gonna make it to the train on time? Yeah, baby. Good job, Kara, good job, Alice. Run, Kara, run. Ara and Alice escape the police. We return back to Connor and take part in an intense chase scene, and we have to make an important choice. Hank! Oh hell no, we're saving Hank, of course. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We had it. Sorry Hank, I had to man, I couldn't let you die. Awesome man, that was a good chapter. Save Hank. In this next chapter, we take refuge with Kara and Alice, but things take a twisted turn, forcing us to escape and introducing a brand new friend. I'll shoot right through you. Ooh. Escape the manor. It's been a while since we've seen Marcus, so let's have a quick recap. After being shot, Marcus finds his way to a ship called Jericho, a safe haven for deviants. However, the androids there are living in hiding and dying out. So, Marcus decides to take charge and we see the start of a revolution, ushering in a new era for the androids. We are free! Yeah! yeah. Jericho's hero, let's go. Got enough parts. The next chapter is Connor leads us in search of a deviant in an android sex club. We have to gather information before making another important decision. Spare him this time. It's probably better this way. And there is the gouch trophy. We take shelter as Kara in an abandoned amusement park, and as we're settling down for the night, we are rudely interrupted. Oh. Kara! Fuck. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. You just bash through the windows. A smile on her face. Alice enjoyed a ride on the merry-go-round. In one of the previous chapters, Marcus's group take over a broadcast station, delivering a peaceful message that has alerted the entire world. This makes it harder for Kara to press forward. However, luckily, we find some help and manage to divert the police. No thanks to her son, Adam. No. God, this kid, man. Nothing to see here. Kara succeeded to make the cops go away. We conduct a pacifist riot with Marcus, unlocking us a trophy. No terrorism there. Send a message. Conducted our pacifist riot. Back to Connor, and we pay a visit to the original creator of the Cyberlife Androids, who offers Connor a deal that is pretty hard to refuse. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Don't you? Thanks, my boy, man. I don't care about anyone else. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yes, Hank. I fucking love Hank, dude. <laughs> Kinship. Connor refused to kill the Chloe. We're back as Marcus and the ranks of Jericho have grown considerably. Again, we're forced to demonstrate peacefully, leading to a no mercy policy from the police. Oi, my boy, John. <laughs> what? Yes, John, no, John. John, my b oh. Live on. That was rough. Trophies, man. You've done me dirty, Dad. I didn't want to pick those moves. Stand your ground. Ah, 
Christ, that's an emotional roller coaster right there. Back to Connor, and Hank is taken off the Deviant case and replaced by the FBI as there is risk of a civil war. This puts Connor's future in jeopardy, as if he doesn't solve this crime, he will be deactivated. Listen, Connor. <laughs> if I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Hi, dudes. Key to the basement is on my desk. Before we trick this android into giving us Jericho's location. Yeah, Bloodhound. Connor got the location of Jericho by himself. With the help of Hank, to be fair. This next section brings our three characters together in probably the most interesting outcome so far. Your choices finally start to catch up with you here. And this segment is incredibly important for the story. And the rest of this playthrough is now going to be extremely crucial plot points. So if you've made it this far and would still like to play the game, just know that this is where the story really starts to develop. Now Marcus opens Connor's eyes and we turn deviant, leading him to reveal that the FBI are going to destroy Jericho. This leads to us blowing up the ship and everyone escaping alive, unlocking us three separate trophies. There's the other one, Scorched Earth. Marcus O'Connor detonated the freighter. We've reached the final chapter of this run, and because of the decisions we've made up until this point, we're on course to unlock nine trophies. A lot happens here, so here are just the key points. We finished the game undefeated, unlocking a trophy. Kara and Alice made it across the border. We made the soldiers listen to Marcus. Hank and Connor remained friends until the end. Connor also resisted the hacking attempt from Cyberlife. Connor converted all of the androids in the Cyberlife warehouse. We finished with all of our characters alive. Kara, Alice and Luther are together at the end. And last but not least, we completed the game once. All in all, unlocking us nine more trophies. Mad. Partners. Hank and Connor, oh Christ, it's just shot up, so I think it's skipped. So, with our good run out of the way, it is now time to run through our aggressive playthrough. I'll keep this short and sweet, as it's just a lot of the same, however we are taking the aggressive options instead. I'm here for trophies, and that's what you're going to be getting, so don't worry. We need to also make sure that Connor dies at every available opportunity, and also that we gather the last magazines that we need. So our first chance to take a different path appears we push Liam instead of enduring his assault. But this ends up resulting in the same outcome. Aye. 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 And there's the Defend Yourself trophy. Marcus Push Leo. It's not our first trophy of our second run. For the chapter with Kara, we meet this weirdo Ralph, and we sleep in the squat this time instead of the car. And this gets us another trophy. And we got the shelter trophy for sleeping in the squat this time. And this for a trophy. Hold that. And that's the ruthless trophy for killing the Tracys this time round. So now our dialogue options here will decide where he shoots us or not, I believe. What? Hey, there you go. Thanks, shot Connor. He deserved it this playthrough, man. We've been a dick. Just a machine. Hank killed Connor this time. We have to climb this broadcast tower again. This time shooting this guy, which keeps our crew intact until the end of this mission. <laughs> nice, so we just got the when a plan comes together trophy for broadcasting the message without raising any alarms or having a team casualty. Oh, he's crying as well. But trophies dictate that we have to shoot them both, unfortunately. There we go, and that is the burn the place trophy, and we got that for conducting a violent riot this time. And again, we have to do this one for a trophy, so sorry Chloe. Priorities, we killed the Chloe this time. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. No, we didn't. Attack! Follow me! It is what it is. I respect Josh for running at it anyways, even though didn't need to. Right, QTE's time. Shit. Confrontation, and that's for attacking the police this time. This chapter is quite eventful. This time Connor doesn't become a deviant. Connor also dies for the final time here, 
and that's important in just a second. And we allow ourselves to be caught as Kara this time to take us down a different path. Compliant. Connor stayed a machine. And here he is, my boy Connor. Back for the final time. I'll be back. Connor died and returned at every opportunity before reaching the end. So that's one of the ones that's got quite a low percentage to pop, but it's not hard to do at all. The final chapter sees us taken to a camp, and we have to escape with Kara and Alice, and also liberate the androids as Marcus to unlock the last two trophies of this playthrough. Liberation, that's for reaching the camp and liberating androids, and escaping death escaped with Alice and Kara from the recycling center. So that's amazing. Now we've only got, what, five trophies left to go? First, we learn Jericho's location via Simon on the roof. There yeah, we go, a glimpse of Jericho. So that's one trophy done. Sorry, Hank. I really don't want to have to leave you behind, but I've already saved you. That's deep, bruh. And we got the catch it trophy. Connor caught up with Rupert. Oh, lad. Oh. What a villain, bro. <laughs> and that's the mission complete trophy. Connor killed the leader of the Deviants. Nice. I need to get the last two magazines from here. Once I've got these last two magazines, I either have to finish the level or I can just quit out. I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to try both. Well, give me now. Yes! Bookworm. Find every single magazine. So we didn't even have to finish the final the, the, the level to the end or whatever. We just got it straight away. So we've got one more thing to do and then that's it. We're done. Let's go. Right, so all we got to do now is spend 20k in this shop. There we go, there. These are our stories, 20,000 bonus points, and Detroit Master, baby. 100%. And good thing about this one is it's only 1.5% of players have earned this, which seems mad, if I'm being honest with you, because it's not hard. What a fun game, guys. Keep those suggestions coming, and let's keep this platinum wheel spinning. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for consistent platinum trophy content directly to your feed. That's all from me. Take care. Gaspard out.